Welcome back to mind-boggling military aviation facts you haven't heard before. Mirage 2000 speed limitation. Mirage 2000 is a versatile fourth gen fighter with a top speed of Mark II. But just like the speedometer on a moped, top speed is just an illusion. As with bags that is drop tanks equipped, the Mirage 2000 is limited to a max speed of 0.95 Mark. F104 landing speeds. Speaking of speed, the F104, which is often compared to strapping a man onto a rocket, had an approach speed of chart dropping 200 knots which translates to a mind boggling 370 kilometers per hour that's faster than any formula 1 racing car can go even in a straight line F107 Maneater the 1950s was an era of bizarre aircraft and the F107 has a special place in it nicknamed the Maneater due to its bizarre air intake placement as it had a tendency to suck F107 all moving tail Even with the bizarre design, the F107 was an innovative jet. It was also the first aircraft to feature an all-moving tail, making it versatile. And I don't know, maybe eating pilots, I guess. MEP1109 weird design. And since we are on the topic of the weird, one of the most bizarre aircraft designed during World War II was the P1109 with its scissor design. It was indeed a unique design and was one of the first aircraft to feature a swing wing functionality. Tests revealed that the scissor wing decreased aerodynamic drag, permitting higher speeds and longer range. Lightning's internal rocket mount. The English Electric Lightning was a beast of a plane with a top speed of over Mark II. It was basically wing strapped to a rocket. But its designers went on for something unexpected, with an internal rocket launcher, which extended out of the fuselage when in operation. Rubber aircraft carrier tech. The British engineers also had the brilliant idea to test a rubber landing tech. I guess they like to see them jets bounce. The aircraft carrier HMS Warrior featured a rubber deck where the jets would make a gear up landing. A new thought, Ryanair landings were back breaking. P for pursuit. Up until 1947, aircrafts of the US Air Force, which was still then part of the US Army, had a prefix of P in their name. For example, the P-47, P-51, P-80, etc., which stood for pursuit. First ejection seat. Heinkel and Saab developed the first ejection seats independently during World War II. Early models were powered by compressed air, and the first aircraft to be fitted with such a system was the Heinkel HE-280 in 1940, which was a prototype jet engine fighter. One of the HE-280 test pilots, Helmut Schenk. became the first person to escape from a stricken jet with an ejection seat on 13 January 1942 after his control surfaces iced up and became inoperative F111 capsule speaking of ejections the F111 Aardvark took safety to a whole new level with its crew ejection capsule in the event of an ejection the capsule would separate out of the aircraft and deploy its parachute as the capsule descended down to the earth making it much safer for the pilots while ejecting Mudhen bomb load. The F-15E Strike Eagle, famously known as the Mudhen, had an impressive load carrying capacity of around 14,000 pounds, that is 7,000 kilograms. That's nearly double what the heavyweight B-17 bombers of the World War II could carry. Looks like the Mudhen was determined to make sure no targets were left unbombed. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.